Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we'll find out how to add custom fields for WooCommerce. I mean adding custom fields for products which are in an online store built with WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a popular platform for e-commerce in WordPress. Here is a typical product page built by WooCommerce. It provides numerous features and functions, but you still may need some things further that it does not provide. It's when you can use custom fields from Metabox. In this practice, I'll add fields for those products in WooCommerce like this. First, we absolutely have WooCommerce to create and customize the online store. To have a framework to create custom post types and custom fields, we have the Metabox Core plugin. You can download it directly from WordPress.org. We also need some Metabox extensions to have some advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. MB views to display value from custom fields on the product pages easily. Metabox builder to has a UI in the backend to create custom fields. Moreover, you may need some other extensions to have your own field group as you wish in some real cases. But in this case, I keep the field simplest for illustration purposes only. So just go with these two extensions only. Let's get started. Go to Metabox and create custom fields. As I said, I will create some basic fields for illustration purposes only. I will set this field to be clonable, so you can see clearer on which is the difference when displaying it in non-clonable field on the product page. After having all the fields, move to the Settings tab, choose Location as Post Type, and select Product to apply these fields to it. Pay attention that this post type is auto-generated by WooCommerce. It is not the post type created with Metabox. Now when editing a product, you will see the created fields. Just input some data. Normally, you should add code to the themes file to display values saved in custom fields on the WooCommerce's product page. But Metabox has MB views that will help you shorten and simplify the code much. Go to Metabox and create a new view. Just click on this button and look for the fields you want to display on the product page. Even when the field is clonable, just choose it and MB views will do the code for you. Your work now is just separate them in div tags and name some classes for styling using CSS if needed. Then go to this tab. Add some CSS code. There's also another tab for JavaScript in the event that you need it for some advanced display. Now. Scroll down to the settings section of the view. Set the type of the view as action since we will add this view to a hook of WooCommerce. In this box, as the name of the hook like this. This is the one provided by WooCommerce. You can read more about it in WooCommerce documentation. Just save the view. Go to a product page you will see information from custom fields displayed. These are from two fields that I created. That's done in the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try more, 
please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.